Good evening from Westchester Public Library. Welcome to our virtual summer concert series. We have a few announcements before tonight's concert will begin. We'll be taking next week off for the July 4th holiday, so have a happy and safe 4th. We'll return July 10th at 7 p.m. with the band Vintage Postcard. And for now, please join me in welcoming tonight's musical guest, Lee Murdoch. Thank you very much, Heather, and thank you folks for joining us uh, on this virtual concert. Uh, it's always a pleasure to come here to Westchester Library to sing folk songs about the Great Lakes region, so let's get underway. <laughs> Michigan, Father Superior, coming down from Mackinac and Sault Ste. Marie. The water of Huron rolls down to Lake Erie, falls into Ontario, and runs out of the sea. The Great Lakes are a diamond on the hand of North America, a bright shining jewel. On their friendship border, it can say freshwater highway coming down from Canada. And all along the coastline, you can hear the people say, Sweet Mother Michigan, Father Superior, coming down from Magaboy and Sault Ste. Marie. The water here on rolls down to Lake Erie, falls into Ontario, and runs on out to sea. Their fathers were before they say, Bury me at sea when it's my time to go. Sweet Mother Michigan, Father Superior, coming down from Mackinac and Sault Ste. Marie. The water here on rolls down to Lake Elio, falls into Ontario, there was an out to sea. Now 
Like You, that's one of my favorite songs as well. And it was a song that I learned from a wonderful folk singer named Bob Gibson. And the song was written by a fellow from uh, over in Ohio, Pat Daly, with help from Shel Silverstein. And it's really kind of like an overture to the whole program that I'm doing, kind of the whole entire region. One of the jobs that I'm supposed to do is to chronicle Great Lakes history in song. And not just the old stuff, but also more modern stories as well. And this is a story that comes from Rob Summers, a fan of mine, who lives on the Chesapeake. But he spent his summers with his grandfather up on Lake Erie, Silver Creek, New York. His father, Alan Rippenhagen, who had a marina there. And every 4th of July, Rip's Marina sponsored a swim meet. People came from all over to this meet. And uh, when Rob remembered that one summer when he was 12 years old in 1963, things changed. The water got really, really bad the night before the swim meet on the 4th of July that year. And that's because the village elders decided to clear out the sewer lines in the Lake Erie the night before. And his grandfather was so upset. He was yelling at people near and far because they had to cancel the event, of course. He was even talking to some of his old friends from the Prohibition era on the telephone. And one of those friends said, well, you ought to give my son a call. He said, well, why should I do that? Well, my son's the Attorney General of the United States, Robert F. Kennedy. So he did. And sure enough, within a few months, a lawsuit was filed against the village of Silver Creek for water quality issues. And uh, it was the first small step to what nine years later became the Clean Water Act. Rob's story called What About the Water? When I was just a young boy, about 12 years of age or so, I go down to Lake Erie Shore, watch the freighters come and go, and I'd swim out in that water just to see what I could find. A pure act of adventure, leaving all cares behind. Later on that summer, when the lake shore changed for worse, bitter pools of pollution and raw sewage was dispersed. It flowed out into that water, not a place could I find to swim out for adventure and be. My cares behind, I asked, what about the water, what about the lake, what about the people whose future is at stake, think about the children who yet to pass this way. Should we sacrifice tomorrow for convenience here today? Think about the water. It's about the water. The village was to blame for what occurred that day. For years, industry used the lake to wash their ways away. They said it didn't matter. They said they didn't care. Until someone stood before them and a lawsuit was prepared. Was that man who stood up to the town? Said he knew 
knew old Joe Kennedy from the bootleg underground. He had Lake Water in his blood, and he would not step aside. When that lake shore was in peril, this was not an act of pride, he said. What about the water? What about the lake? What about the people whose future is at stake? Think about the children who've yet to pass this way. Should we sacrifice tomorrow for convenience here today? Think about the water. It's about the water. My grandpa was a great man, and on him you could depend. He worked like Gary Shoreline his whole life until the end. He cared about that water. And he cared about the lake. He sacrificed his fortune, all for our future sake. So tell them, think about the water, think about the lake, think about the people whose future is at stake. What about the children who've yet to pass this way? Should we sacrifice tomorrow for convenience here today? Think about the water, oh, think about the lake. Think about the people future is at stake. What about the children who have yet to pass this way? Should we sacrifice tomorrow for convenience here today? Think about the water. It's about the water. What about the water? That's something we always have to think about is our effect that we have on our, our surroundings. And of course, in this new time, uh, that's also very important. How our actions affect other people, and uh, I like to talk about how the songs affect other people too. For instance, this next song is probably one of the first lake-type ballads I ever learned when I was cool, when I was a kid, and you know, you folks probably learned it when you were young too. <laughs> What is interesting about this song is it was never really sung by canal men, canalers, if you will. It was actually composed in 1913 by Thomas Alden, who was a songwriter on Tin Pan Alley. It was a song that was written to celebrate the opening of the New York Barge Canal in 1913. And the old Erie Canal was closing down, see. And so it, it celebrated that. And, uh, and has been celebrated ever since by a lot of elementary school kids. I got a mule and her name is Sal.
15 miles on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker, a good old pal. 15 miles on the Erie Canal. We hauled some barges in our day, filled with lumber, coal, and hay. And we know every step of the way from Albany to Buffalo. Everybody down Low bridge For we're coming to a town You'll always know your neighbor You'll always know your pal And you ever navigate it On the Erie Canal We better get along On our way, old gal Fifteen miles On the Erie Canal There's not another mule As good as Sal Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. Get up there, Sal, here comes a lock. We'll make Rome about six o'clock. One more trip, then back we'll go. Right on back, pull the buffalo. Low bridge, everybody down. Low bridge, home we're coming to a town. You'll always know your neighbor, you'll always know your pal. Now, where would I go if I lost my pal? Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. There's not another mule as good as Sal. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. I had a friend that got her sore. Now he's got a broken jaw, cause she let go with her iron toe. They kicked him clear back to Buffalo. Low bridge, everybody down. Low bridge, for we're coming to town. You'll always know your neighbor, you'll always know your pal. If you ever navigate it on the Erie Canal, well, you'll always know your neighbor, you'll always know your pal. If you ever navigate it on the Erie Canal. Low bridge, everybody down. See me closer? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Thank you. I just hope you don't I don't break your camera. <laughs> okay, is that better? Is this a good side? No, that's my bad side. Oh whatever. Um I'm gonna sing you a song now about fish, and it's good that I got close to the camera because that's all over this shirt, it's fish. And uh this is a song, uh, I don't really know who wrote the song, so I guess you would call it traditional. Um, but it is a, um, uh, a song that I learned off the internet, it's great. And uh, the Niagara Access uh, Line uh, website, Outdoors Adventures or something like that, uh, that's what uh, this song was on. And it's a song about the Blue Pike. Now, if you aren't familiar with the Blue Pike, you're not alone because you never really heard of it when I was a kid. But I didn't grow up on Lake Erie. And over in Lake Erie, uh, there was a number of fishermen back, in, even as, as late as the early 60s, that they would catch an occasional, occasional Blue Pike, which was actually a type of a, a perch or uh, more like a, a, a walleye, and, uh, but with a blue cast to it. And so this is a song that uh, talks about the disappearing of the blue pike and is the water quality issues in this song too. It's called the Blue Pike Song. You can talk of Lake Erie and all it's about With the perch and the walleye, the steelhead and trout But of all the sports fish you may fondly recall Sure, the darling blue pike was the queen of them all. Well, was this great lake with blue pike it did team from Old Mummy Bay to Niagara's great stream? You could cast out your line any time of the day, 
and calling them the bike come old here I am. So it's fresh your glass of hose and here's to the day when the blue bike swam free in the old here I am. Then the factory sprang up fouling water and air and the pitch tucks and the gill nets took more than their share. So says the blue pipe, this is no place to stay. So she bid her farewell to the old here I am. So it's raised your glass fellows and ears to the day. When the blue pipe swam free in the old here I am. Now the factories grow quieter year after year And those boys of Lake Waters are starting to clear If we all do our part, you may yet see the day When the blue pipe returns to the old here I am So it's raise your glass fellows and ears to the day When the blue pipe swam free in the old here I am So it's raise your glass fellows and ears to the day Light returns to the old horizon. Blue Pike song. It's fun to sing some songs that uh, have history with myself personally and uh, fans, etc., uh, come up over the years and this particular story was uh, offered uh, to me by uh, Pam Leander who is a diver over in uh, uh, near uh, Detroit uh, Rose Point I think is where they had their shop and dive shop and uh, quite a few years ago they found a bottle off of uh, Harsons Island and uh, it was you know in the in the water there in the river and um, or I guess it's the St. Clair River, the, the Northern Lake St. Clair, but, but whatever. Um, what was interesting was that there was a note in this bottle. And these words that were written on this note, they could decipher after all these years. It was dated 1915, I think July of 1915, signed by two girls. And, uh, and having a great time at Tajmu was the, was the note. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with, with the Tajmu Park, uh, some of you may be very familiar with Washington Park. You know, that was the big uh, amusement park in uh, Michigan City years ago. And there's a lot of places, even Chicago had Riverview and uh, many, you know, of course nowadays you can go over to Cedar Point uh, near Sandusky. Um, but there was a lot of places where people in the summertime could get away from the city heat. And that's what Tajma Park was. And uh, so this is a song for Pam and uh, it's called Out on Holiday. Bottle was found, bottle was found the other day. It was lost in time and tucked away on a river that it lay a hundred years or so. And there inside a note was found, a simple sentence written down by two young girls adventure bound on that river long ago. Having a great time at Tashmu was the message written there. On the back of a piece of paper, a white star lines affair. Just a thought in a moment's notice, jotted down without much care. Transported through a century to our keeping and repair. A fleeting moment frozen from the past and present to be shared. Having a great time at Tajmu was the message written there. On the back of a piece of paper, a white star lines affair. Just a thought in a moment's notice, jotted down without much care. Transported through a century to our keeping and repair. 
A fleeting moment frozen from the past At present to be shared That message from another time Has much wisdom in its line To take to heart, to let it shine Through every single day So when events have got you down And life's mounting pressures abound Hear the way that those words sound To keep those thoughts at bay Having a great time at Taj Mahal like the message written here you can leave your cares behind you wrapped up with all your fears just jot them on some paper find a bottle where it lay then toss them in some river and watch them float away like two young girls did long ago while out on holiday for you, Pam. Now, keep in mind, folks, this was a metaphor. I don't want you getting paper and writing a note on it and putting it in a bottle and sticking it in a river or on the lake or anything like that. That's, it's just a poetic license. But you can do that in your mind, especially in these difficult times. You know. Let me send you an on the company song. A traditional ballad that was very popular among sailors in the 1870s and 1880s. As a matter of fact, Garfield, that's 1880s, uh, when uh, Garfield was up for election, I guess. Uh, this was on the cover of the Cleveland Plain Dealer, this, this lyric. And it uh, celebrates a vessel built in uh, 1858 called the John Bigler. Now, the John Bigler was not this beautiful, grand, wonderful line schooner. It was a scow schooner, so kind of like a river barge with sails on it. Bluff bowed, but she was very good in secondary harbors, uh, unimproved harbors, you know, and, and secondary waterways. However, when she got on the big water, eh, she was ponderously slow. And as a matter of fact, um, one of the my sources for a lot of these songs is Ivan Walton. He was a professor at the University of Michigan, and he interviewed a couple guys who worked on the Bigler, and one of them said, well, in a big commotion, uh, in a big wind, she'd make quite a commotion and very little speed. Um, and uh, the other fellow said, well, yeah, it, it, sh her bow was so uh, flat that she'd push the lake right in front of her, you know. So there's reference to that in the middle of this song. It's called uh, Bigler's Crew. And the chorus is, watch her, catch her, jump on the juber juke, give her the sheet and let her slide, the boys will push her through. You ought to seen us howling, the wind was blowing free, on our passage down to Buffalo from Milwaukee, describing a sailing craft turning in the wind. Come on, my boys, and listen, a song I sing to you. It's all about the big learn of her jolly crew in Milwaukee last October. A chance to get a sight in a schooner called the Big Lure belonging to Detroit. It was on a Sunday morning about the hour of ten. The Robert Emmett towed us out into Lake Michigan. We said so where she left us in the middle of the fleet. And the wind beat from the south third. We had to give her a sheet. Watch her, catch her, jump on a jube or jube. Give her the sheet and let her slide, the boys will push her through. You ought to see in a sailing, the wind was blowing free. On her passage down to Buffalo from Milwaukee. The wind came ahead before we reached the Manitou's. Three dollars and a half a day just suited the Bigler's crew. From there into the Beavers, we steered her full and by. We kept it to the wind, my boys, as close as she could lie. Through Skilly Gilly and Wobble Shanks, the entrance to the Straits. We might have passed the big fleet if they hoped to end wait, but we pushed them on before us, I said you ever saw. Out into Lake Huron from the Straits of Mackinac. We watch her, catch her, jump on a jube or jube. Give her the sheet and let her slide, the boys would push her through. You ought to see the howling, the wind was blowing free. On her passage down to Buffalo from Milwaukee. We made the presque light and then we boomed away. The wind had been fair for the Isle of Thunder Bay. But when the wind had shifted, we had a stubborn attack. We said a good look out for the light at Porto Parks. We made the light and kept the side of Michigan's North Shore. A booming for the river as we'd often done before. And ride a breast quarter on light or anchor, we let go. The sweepstakes came alongside, took us all in tow. 
Watch her, catch her, jump on a jube or jube. Give the sheep and let her slide, the boys that push her through. You ought to see in a howling, the wind is blowing free. On her passage down to Buffalo from Milwaukee. The sweepstakes took eight and tow all us fore and aft. Hauled us down the Lake St. Clair, stuck us on the flats. She parted the hunter's tow line and trying to give relief. And stem and stern went big lure into the maple leaf. The sweeps they sent, she towed us outside the river light. Lake Erie, Fort to Rome, and the blustering winds to fight. The wind beat from the south, or we paddled our own canoe. She spawned her toward the dummy and held bent for buffalo. Watch her, catch her, jump on her jew or jew. Give the sheet and let her slide, the boys will push her through. You ought to see it as howling, the wind was blowing free. On her passage down to Buffalo from Milwaukee. We made the hour and passed on point, the wind was blowing free. We hauled along the Canada shore, poor Coburn on idly. What is it that is up and well known as we draw near? But like a blazing star shone the light of Buffalo Pier. And now we're safely landed in Buffalo Creek at last. Under rigs, elevator, the big loose she's made fast. And in some log and beer, so then we'll let the bottle pass. For we are jolly shipmates, we'll drink a social glass. Watch her, catch her, jump on a jew or jew. Give the sheet and let her slide, the boys will push her through. You ought to see it as howling, the wind was blowing free. On her passage down to Buffalo from Milwaukee. Oh, watch her, catch her, jump on a jew or jew. Give the sheet and let her slide, the boys will push her through. You ought to see it as howling, the wind was blowing free. On our passage down to Buffalo from Milwaukee. Bigler's crew. Give me a little bit of water here. Or as I always say on, on stage, you take a little spray over the side here. Easier to do without finger picks, but. One of the fun things about being sheltering at home is I've been having a lot of fun uh, rediscovering some songs I hadn't sung in a while. And uh, this is one of those that I learned well, quite a few years ago. It appeared, I think, on uh, my The Lost Lake Sailors album back in 2000, 20 years ago. And it's a song that was uh, originally started on the East Coast, and it's called The Sailor's Alphabet. And uh, it was originally uh, what uh, describing things aboard a, a sailing ship, and uh, it trans it made its way up to the lakes. And in I think 1928, Walter Head heard this on a vessel called the Selkirk in Lake Ontario. And um, and what they had done is they had transformed it to instead of what you would find aboard a sailing ship, aboard a Great Lakes freighter. And uh, so this is a Great Lakes version of the Sailor's Alphabet. A is for anchor, sometimes called the hook. B is for bosun, who's often the crook. C is for captain, a rusty old man. And D is for deck, where the witches are ran. E is for ensign high up on the spar. F is for fireman who throws the slice bar. G is for galley where the cook does his stuff. And H is for hatchway where one falls it up. So merry, so merry, so merry are we. No mortals on earth are as happy as we. Sing nightly, oh dearie, I do. We've got to say the boys grog and there's nothing goes wrong. I is for iron ore that the ships carry. J is for Jane, we all love but won't marry. K is for keel deep down in the sea. And L is for locks at Sault Ste. Marie. M is for mattress all full of bed bugs. N is for navy means we eat from our mugs. O is for order, all greasy and gray. And B is for pumps, which he runs night and day. So merry, so merry, so merry are we. Are as happy as we sing idly or dare be nigh, dare be done. You see the boys grog and there's nothing goes wrong. Q is for quarter deck, 
called a fantail. R is for rollers that come over the rail. S is for sailor who does his own patches. D is for tarpaulin that covers the hatches. U is for union, the pipe fitters row. B for ventilator down which the winds blow. W for windlass that pulls up the hook. And X the signature of our scholarly cook. So merry, so merry, so merry are we. No mortals on earth are as happy as we. Sing a Boys grog and there's nothing goes wrong. Y is for yells the mate up and makes. Z is for zero in winter on the lakes. That's all of the words that I know to this song. If you find more letters, then you can write on. So merry, so merry, so merry are we. No mortals on earth are as happy as we sing. I Sailor's Alphabet. Now I'm sitting up here enjoying singing to all you folks out there. And I know some of you out there are saying, yeah, well, I like these songs, but man, when is he going to sing the song? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, when a folk singer is asked to sing a song that was a world hit, no matter how long ago, there's a price to be paid, and it can only be paid in information. This vessel is named after the chief executive officer of the Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company of Milwaukee. She was the flagship of the fleet, and the company leased it to Columbia Transportation. 729 feet long, 75 feet wide, 30 some feet above the water. Magnificent vessel. But people who knew him said Edmund Fitzgerald was never the same when his namesake sank on November 10, 1975. Taking all 29 lives. And every year on that anniversary, People gather in churches and maritime museums and, and homes to remember those sailors. And they listen to this song that was composed by Gordon Life. Interesting story about that, too, as a matter of fact. Gordon was uh, traveling from Los Angeles back home to Canada, and he picked up this uh, somewhat few-day-old copy of uh, the Detroit Free Press. Right there on the front page, he read, the legend lives on from the Chippewa and Don of the big lake that called Gichigumi. And he was enthralled. And that became quite a legendary line. When you find a good line, you use it. Unbeknownst to Gordon, though, the melody that he chose for this song, much later, was found by Sean Lay in Whitefish Point in some warrior songs of the Sault Ste. Marie Chippewa. Note for note, pretty amazing. Now, the vessel sank in their ancestral waters in Lake Superior, so it's all circular. Let's a song from the chip on down of the big lake called Gitchigumi. The lake that said never gives up her dive when the skies in November turn blue. With the load of iron on 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed him. But that good ship and crew were a bone to be chewed when the gales of November come early. 
Ship was the pride of the American side Coming back from some in Wisconsin And as big freighters go, she was bigger than most With the good crew and Captain Will Caesar Concluding some terms with a couple of stiff firms When she left for the door to the Trapeza And later that night when that ship's bell rang could it be the north of which they've been feeling? Wind in the wires, mid tap tail sound, as a wind rolled over the river. And every man knew as the captain did too. Twas a witch in November come stealer. The dawn came later and the breakfast had to wait. When the gales in November came slushing. When afternoon came, it poured freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. When summer time came, the old cook came on deck. Say, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. Then at 7 p.m., a roadway came in. He cried, fellas, it's been good to know ya. And the captain wired in, he had water coming in. And his good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when the ship's lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they put 15 more miles behind her. She might have split up, or she might have capsized, or she might have broke deep into water. But all that remains are the faces and the names of the wives, the sons, and the daughters. They can't roll superior sings, and the robes of her eyes for her nature. Old Michigan steeds like a young man's dream. Her islands and bays are for sportsmen And follow below Lake Ontario Takes them with Lake Erie can soon her And the iron boats go as the mariners all know With the gales of November, remember In a rustical hall in Detroit they pray at the Maritime Sailors Cathedral And the church bell chimed till it rang twenty-nine times For each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald So the legend lives on from the ship on down Of the big lake they call Kitchigoogie Superior, they said, never gives up her dead When the gales of November and early Let's see. Well, you know, one of the things we're missing tonight, by the way, I don't know if, you re if you've come to this concert many times, we're missing this atmospheric um, sound that is all encompassing as the train's going by, right? <laughs> Well, I got a song for you tonight. This is a song called The Sioux Line. Now, I, it's on my most recent album, and uh, I wanted to record it for quite a while. It's written by a fellow named Craig Johnson, and Craig was born in Ann Arbor, but he would spend his summers up in the UP with his grandmother up on the Keweenaw Peninsula. So he got the full knowledge uh, when he was a kid of what the life was like up there. And he uh, wrote this song about the, about the time that the, the steel mills were having a lot of trouble in the early 80s. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, called the Sioux Line. Like a fire in the jack pine, morning is breaking out along the south shore, down along the Sioux Line. The shifts going down, night shifts in the drive. 
our long south shore, down the long Sioux line. I stopped in Baronesco, there's trouble in the town. Friday's the last payday, all the mills are closing down. Young men walking home, got leaving on their minds. Out along the south shore, down the low Sioux line. Out along the south shore, down along the Sioux line. No ship going down, not ships in the drive. Out along the south shore, down along the Sioux line. Old men on the highway, bags are bending down. Blackbirds on the barbed wire, all along the cable ground. Head frames in the long fields, ghosts of better times. Out along the South Shore, down along the Sioux Line. Like a fire in the jack pine, morning is breaking. Out along the South Shore, down along the Sioux line. The ship going down, not ships in the drive. Out along the South Shore, out along the Sioux line. Midnight in them high hills, lying side by side, waiting for the moonrise, warming to the wine. Gazing in your dark eyes, they're deeper than the sky. Leaving in the morning, down below the Sioux line. Like fire in the jack pine, morning is breaking. Out along the south shore, down along the Sioux line. New ship going down, night ships in the drive. Out along the south shore, down along the Sioux line. Out along the south shore. a nod to the atmospheric disturbance we so lovingly are, are missing tonight. I neglected to say when I was singing the Edmund Fitzgerald, by the way, she used to come into Burns Harbor all the time, the steel mill there. So she has some local history right here. This is certainly a song that talks about local history, too. Alice Fry graduated from the University of Chicago in 1916. She was a writer and intellectual, forward thinker. And shortly after she graduated, she fell in love with the Dunelands area here in Indiana and moved out there, out here by herself. Quite a feat for a young lady. Lived out there year-round for a while, a few years. One of the reasons why she came there is she saw that with the industry coming in, she was very concerned about the ecology of the dune structure. She was quite a curiosity, if you will. And after a while, she up and disappeared. Now, some people say she was killed by her sometime lover, Bill Wilson. Others say that she succumbed to injuries during a prohibition raid. I guess that might give you an idea of what she was doing out there a little bit, but I don't know. Others say she just up and left. But shortly after she left, a ghost appeared, and a lot of the locals here attributed it to her. Now, she wrote under a pseudonym called Diana of the Dunes. And this is my homage to her. Maybe sometime she'll, uh, I'll get a chance to meet her out there in the dunes. Diana in the dunes. Seagulls and plovers circle in the air. 
Swirl and dip of the dancing waves like they haven't got a care. We call out to her on the rising breeze. It flows along the pounding surf and through the rustling trees. The ending of the day is now in store. Indigo and starlit black descend upon the shore. Her presence can be felt within the wind. Her history imprinted on every grain of sand. Society in the town of Chicago. They say she was just following a dream to dwell amid the drifting dunes, a simple life supreme. got time for about maybe one more song maybe two sh quick ones well I don't do two quick ones I mean I don't know shorter songs I know is about five minutes so I thought I'd finish up with a song that if you feel like singing along it's certainly a wonderful song and it's a song that talks about the, the roles of the lighthouse in the old days and uh, it's, it was written by a fellow named Bob Sense who's from Norfolk Virginia and he uh, actually experienced this when he was in the Coast Guard back when he, when he was young. And uh, the uh, and it's a beautiful treatise uh, or a description of a storm as it develops over water and, and then the aftermath. And uh, in this storm that we're in right now is uh, 
probably the thing to keep in mind is uh, the lighthouse for us is each other. And uh, we've got to really try and keep that in our minds so that we do the best that we can for each other and to keep each other safe. So I'll finish up with uh, Light from the Lighthouse. When the shadows fall, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. And the weather watch spies are coming. Swallow, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. And the sun sinks low in a troubled sea. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. And the night winds blow. From the lighthouse, shine on me, shine on me, oh shine on me, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me, shine on me, oh shine on me, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. When the clouds boil black, when the winds will clear, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me and the God in the teeth of a living girl let the light from the lighthouse shine on me and your sailor's heart is filled with fear let the light from the lighthouse shine on me when the sound of the surf on the rocks is near let the light from the lighthouse shine on Shine on me, oh shine on me, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. Shine on me, oh shine on me, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. Then the wind drops on and the seas be calm, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. Bob is thickest before the dawn. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. Then that new sunburst that fall go away. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. From the darkest night comes the brightest day. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. Shine on me. Oh, shine from the lighthouse, shine on me, shine on me, oh shine on me, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. When your ship is safe in port again, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. You can thank the keeper, you can thank the flame, let the light from the lighthouse Shine on me, shine on me, oh shine on me, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me, shine on me, oh shine on me, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me, shine on me, oh shine on me, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me, shine on me. From the lighthouse, shine on me. The light from the lighthouse. So until next time, I'd like to wish each and every one of you folks good health. May it always be a fair wind that fills your sails. We'll see you next time.